The scene begins with the ground trembling as a low, thunderous hum grows louder in the distance. Dust rises, scattering across the tarmac, and then the massive frame of the Sikorsky CH-53YAs your emerges through the haze. It's 2026 and this. Helicopter isn't just a machine, it's the latest chapter in a legacy of heavy lift aviation that has spanned generations. The CH-53 family was born out of necessity in the late 1960s, created to move more cargo, more troops, and more equipment than almost any other helicopter could. Over the years, it became a workhorse in both military and humanitarian operations, moving artillery, armored vehicles, and even rescuing stranded aircraft. The yard designation itself is tied to the Israeli Air Force, where these helicopters became a backbone of air mobility and special operations. Now, in 2026, the upgraded Yor pushes the platform into a new era with modern avionics, stronger materials, and the kind of digital systems that transform a brute force helicopter into a precise tool of modern warfare. Up close, the sheer size of the CH-53R is staggering. Its triple engines generate thousands of horsepower, enough to lift payloads exceeding 30,000 pounds. That means it can carry armored vehicles, missile batteries, or dozens of fully equipped soldiers over long distances. Its massive seven-blade composite rotor is engineered for both strength and quiet efficiency reducing maintenance while delivering more lift than earlier models. The fuselage is built with advanced lightweight alloys and composite materials, allowing greater durability while trimming unnecessary weight. Step inside the cockpit, and you'll see how much the helicopter has changed from its Cold War roots. The new Yar features a glass cockpit with wide digital displays helmet-mounted sights for pilots, and automated systems that assist with navigation, flight control, and even collision avoidance. These upgrades reduce pilot workload and allow for more precise maneuvers in high-risk zones, from desert valleys to urban landing zones. The avionics suite is fully networked, enabling the helicopter to share data in real time with ground forces, drones, and command centers. This makes it not just a hauler, but an intelligent node in modern combat operations. Survivability has also taken a massive leap forward. The Yor of 2026 carries advanced electronic warfare systems, radar warning receivers, and countermeasure launchers designed to outsmart heat-seeking missiles. Its structure is reinforced to withstand small arms fire and self-sealing fuel. Tanks minimize the risk of catastrophic damage. In addition, infrared suppressors on the exhaust reduce its heat signature, making it harder to lock onto. For missions deep into hostile territory, these upgrades can mean the difference between success and disaster. The mission profile of this helicopter is vast. In combat roles, it can deploy special forces at night in rough terrain, insert armored, vehicles directly into battlefields or extract wounded troops under fire. Beyond combat, it's a critical tool for humanitarian missions. Whether delivering food and medical supplies to disaster zones or evacuating civilians from dangerous areas, the Yor is a lifeline from the sky. In 2026, climate-related disasters and regional conflicts have made such missions more important than ever. And this helicopter remains one of the few platforms capable of carrying out such diverse operations reliably. The Israeli Air Force, which has relied on the Yair since the 1970s, has invested heavily in keeping this helicopter modern and combat ready. Instead of replacing it outright, upgrades have extended its life, bringing it in line with the most advanced rotorcraft in the world. The philosophy is simple. When you have a machine that already does the job better than almost anything else, you don't start from scratch, you make it stronger, smarter, and more efficient. Watch as the CH-53 Yor lifts off once again. 
Engine straining but steady, the massive rotor disc cutting through the air with remarkable grace for an aircraft of its size. As it hovers, then accelerates forward, you realize this is not just a helicopter. It's a statement of engineering dominance, a blend of raw lifting power and cutting edge technology, designed for an era where flexibility, survivability, and speed are everything. The CH-53 of 2026 stands as a reminder that in aviation, evolution often outpaces revolution. Through continuous upgrades and relentless innovation, this helicopter has stayed relevant for over half a century. It's more than a machine, it's a legacy of adaptability and strength, carrying its mission into the future. The dust settles again as the giant disappears into the horizon, leaving only the fading thrum of rotor blades in the distance. Apa, machine built for war, but just as vital for saving lives. The Yor continues its flight path into history proving once again why it remains one of the most, most formidable helicopters in the world. Dot, would you like me to make this script longer? And stretch closer to the 5,000 character target with more cinematic narration? Or should I keep it at this medium length style? Thank you.